Why do they keep saying daddy? Hi, it's been such a long time since I filmed an episode video and for that I am so sorry. If you don't watch my other YouTube videos on my channel then you might be a little confused but basically I've just been going through a lot of stuff and it's just not a good place up there usually but whatever that's besides the point. I'm hoping my episode videos are gonna be back to normal. Um, I'm thinking at least once a month for the uploads so I'm sorry if that's like not as often as you want them. They do take me forever to edit and I'm not gonna lie if I'm constantly doing episodes videos I get really burnt out and I feel like I start to hate them a bit and I don't want to hate them so yeah at least once a month maybe twice a month if I can really get on that grind I'm just kind of adjusting to my new like work schedule and stuff so yeah thank you for supporting me even though it's been so long and yeah let's get right into Rockstar My Bed I can't even really remember where we left off it's been a while I still can't believe we have like 40 more chapters like why did I choose this story, <laughs> you know? Okay, chapter 25, I'm so excited. Okay, right, oh my God, we're at the restaurant with Noah? No, fuck, what's our ex-boyfriend's name? Oh well, anyway, Noah's there, so please don't do anything, please don't. I was praying to myself seconds before Noah thought it was a good idea to walk in our direction. Almost, okay, I'm already stuttering. His steps slow and precise, almost like a hunter eyeing its newfound prey, ready to take it down. But I wasn't entirely sure just who the prey was. Justin or me or the both of us. His expression didn't give anything away as usual. Some, what a pleasant surprise. His voice indicated nothing pleasant about it. Oh no. I'm gonna respond confidently because in real life I'm awkward all the time. So why would I choose to be awkward? You know what I mean? Like I don't choose that. It just cursed me that way. Noah, didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> His eyes analyzed my masked face. No matter how much I tried to put on a facade of confidence, Noah had this talent to see right through it. A smirk appeared on his lips, an arrogant one. Also, like usual. Oh, I'm eating this up. I'm eating it up, I'm sorry. Okay, now Justin. Who's this? Didn't she just call me Noah? You gotta listen, dude. Girls don't like it when you're not attentive. I swallowed. Swallowed what? I, I really, like I say this every episode video, I don't like Noah. I'm really hoping I can like Noah, but I don't really like him. But I hate Justin more. So I'm loving Noah's confrontation of Justin because I don't like Justin, you know? If I had to choose one person in this story for Summer, I would choose Maddie. That's about it. I don't think anyone else cares about her, so. This is Noah. He's... Noah raised his eyebrows. A friend of mine. The eyebrows stayed up high. Noah, this is Justin. Justin. Surprise lit up in his eyes. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. Noah just sat down at the table and said, I've always wanted to get to know you, Justy. I forgot about their phone call like forever ago and I joked jokingly said I shipped Justy and Noah because they were so like enemies to lovers on the phone, like so much banter. But I don't anymore. Honestly, it would be good if they got together because then they could both just be toxic together and leave Summer alone. So maybe. Noah said and blatantly sat next to me. His body was pressed close against mine and with every movement we made, we touched each other. Touching. I noticed that there was enough room for him to leave space between us, but Noah decided to ignore that and sat as close as possible next to me. Huh. Justy? Wait. Is that the Noah who answered your phone? In the flesh. Yeah, how many Noahs does he think she knows? I guess Noah is a pretty common name. I had completely forgotten about their phone call when I was visiting Noah's band practice. This was definitely, okay, it says this was definitely off to a good start, but I think it means this was definitely not off to a good start because if you think this is a good start, I don't wanna know where it's going. <laughs> so Justy, what are you and Sum up to? We're having a date. So would you mind giving us a little privacy? We're not having a date. We're talking. I like to talk. I guess I'll stay then. His eyes focused on Justin. His tone drowned in arrogance and disdain. Lovely. <laughs> so Justy, you moved to Hellsville? Hellsville? I feel like the town used to be named something different, but I'm not 100% sure and we all know my memory is not great, so. I want to slouch so bad, but I won't. Not yet, but I plan to. What? You plan to move here? You're here. Isn't it only natural I live here too? Uh, considering you're not dating, that's fucking weird. And wasn't the whole reason they broke up because he didn't want to move with her in the first place? I don't really remember, but I know he was like super toxic, but I think he said he didn't want to move with her. You got a job here? My father's the head of the law enforcement of this country. Getting a job is no issue. Ew. He's a cop son? Ooh, riding on daddy's coattail, I see. Noah, I made my degree like everybody else. There's no one more deserving than me to work in such a prestigious field. He's such a Nepo baby. Like that's just Nepo baby energy. Sure, Justy. Can you stop calling me that? No, this is so dramatic. Ooh. I suddenly noticed how Noah's arm was casually wrapped around my shoulder. Justin noticed too. Well, obviously like, you're sitting across from him, but oh my God. So you two work together? Huh? 
That's what you said on the phone, Summer. Yes. Remember when I told Justin on the phone that Noah was my coworker? Yep. But Noah works in a different department than me. I do? Sure you do. Right. But I plan to transfer to some sums department soon. I just can't stay away from my bestie. Justin is not liking this. Well, we gotta wait and see if that's possible. Oh, you know I have tight connections with the headquarters. I'm sure it will work out. Don't you love working on case files with me, Sunshine? I shoot him one of my death glares. Noah's clear enjoyment with this very uncomfortable situation pissed me off. Sunshine? Summer's just such a bull of radiating sunshine, don't you think? <sighs> I'm loving this. Sorry, my cat's not very happy. She really wants to play and she doesn't want me playing episode. Isn't she so cute? So Justy, tell me, what is it that you do to work for daddy? I hate saying daddy, and I'm surprised I was able to hold it together to finish the word, but... My work is confidential, so I can't give too much detail. We just make sure that the criminal system stays intact, and proper punishment is executed. Ew. Ooh, sounds important. It is. Hey, what would you and daddy do if some sum would act out of line? What? You'd punish her as well? Summer would never do anything out of line. How would you know? Because I know her, unlike you. She became a lawyer for a reason. That true, Sum? You never broke the law? I... She didn't. I asked her, not you, Justy. Let the girl speak for herself. I don't think so. Oh, why did I say it like that? I definitely think she's like, I don't think so. Damn, did I feel uncomfortable. Never stole a pencil from a classmate? I... Hey, Sum, did you tell Justy about you sneaking into the backstage area of a famous legendary rock Band? I forgot about that. Holy shit. His smirk was widening. That bastard knew all along. You... Sunshine's also pretty violent. Oh, I forgot. He didn't... We thought that he didn't know that was her backstage because that was the very first chapter. And then they moved in together and she thought he didn't know about it, right? But now he does know about it. I, that was like a big revelation, I think. Only two days after we met, she just out of nowhere violently punched me. Noah? Summer, what is he talking about? Oh, did you also know that she's doing power yoga nowadays? Sunshine's preparing to become a fighter. This is just interesting. Like, I understand what Noah's doing, but I'm also like, why is this going on so long? Look, I don't know what your problem is, but Summer and I want to be alone. We haven't seen each other in a while and have some catching up to do. Right. Sum, didn't you say things with him were complicated? You broke up, right? Summer must have been confused. She didn't understand what she was saying back then. He sounds like a major gaslighter. Like, this is crazy. Really? Sum has always been pretty sharp, if you ask me. Doesn't make sense why she wouldn't understand something as important as this. Like I said, you don't know her. Okay, now Noah's calling for Grey, the other bandmate that's at the restaurant with them, because I think it's just the two of them, right? Grey comes over. Has Summer ever been confused or dumb? I'm not. Panty Girl is the brain of our group. What are you talking about? Sum's friend here thinks she's delusional. I never. Hey, don't call her Panty Girl delusional. She has a strong obsession with panties, but she's not delusional. Delusional. Summer, who are these crazy people? I'm her best friend. Shut up, she already said I'm her bestie. Sum, how could you do this to me? I do like Grey, I forgot about Grey. My blood was boiling. <laughs> leave, huh? I said leave, but we're having so much fun. Right, Justy? Noah, leave, now. This is not looking good. Let's go, Grey. We're not wanted here. Damn. I have no idea how Summer's gonna talk herself, talk Justin down or like convince him. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but I think you understand what I mean. Anyway, they're outside of the restaurant now and Summer is apologizing to Justin, which she doesn't need to do. Are these the people you've been surrounding yourself with? I, Summer, I'm disappointed. Why did you downgrade like that? My voice. They are not good for you. He is not good for you. You should stay away from him. A small part inside of me wanted to say something. Noah had been acting like a total jerk, but but Summer, you gotta know that I don't surround myself with people like that. We're better than that. Ew. About my question, you should give me an answer soon. I can't wait too long. I hate him. Like, I hate Justin. If you're watching this, Justin, I hate you. That'd be crazy if he was watching this. <laughs> Damn it. I'm getting a phone call. BRB. Okay, so Summer is confronting Noah, who's smoking on the balcony. I don't know if I mentioned that. He's smoking. Cigarette. Gross. Anyway, Summer says, what's your problem? What are you talking about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. Why did you have to act like a complete asshole? You think I'm the asshole? Chuckle, chuckle. Why did you two break up, huh? What does that have to do with this? I'm just curious. Huh. I think I'm gonna tell him because if I don't tell him, he's just gonna keep hounding me and being like, oh, you can't even tell me why you broke up. And I'm kind of curious to see what Summer says for the exact reason they broke up because I don't think, like we know why, but I don't know how she's gonna say it happened, you know? So I'm curious. He wanted to take a break. Oh, okay. All right, why? Because our relationship wasn't going well. Did he say that? Yeah, so? Justy wasn't difficult to figure out. He's no match for you, Summer. You don't even know him, but I know you. 
Oh my god. Regardless of what he said. And you don't strike me as the type to crush on guys who have a serious daddy complex. Why do they keep saying daddy? You provoked him on purpose. I would never do that. I just wanted to spend a little time with you two. Get to know my bestie's ex. Because that's what we are, right? His eyes bored into mine. I knew what he was doing. Okay, now we're having a stare off. But Noah's in my relationship has taken such a complicated turn. I didn't know how to clap back. <laughs> Sorry, the term clap back makes me laugh. So I just left. All right, now it's just ominously zooming into Noah's face and it fades to black. Okay, now we're in bed, laying down, but we're not sleeping. I was angry, I was tired, I was indecisive. Noah always had this urge to piss people off by being a provocative asshole. I didn't get it. How could someone be this caring and protective and then change into this despicable jerk? And Justin, I felt pressured and backed into a corner and I didn't know how to control the situation. Justin kept reminding me about my old self, about how I had changed, how much better of a person I was back then. But didn't everybody change? Wasn't life about evolvement? I think, is evolvement the proper word or would it be evolving? I don't know. I pretend to be smarter than I am because I'm insecure about my actual intelligence level. <sighs> so why was he saying it as it was a bad thing? It's true that my life was vastly different than when I left my hometown, but did I change so much as a person? More importantly, did I really change for the worst? I don't think so. I truthfully think Summer's like actually a well-meaning person. She does annoy me sometimes, but I don't think she's a bad person, so. Okay, Noah is smoking outside and someone is calling to him. It's your turn. I just know if they took his lungs out of his body, they would be black. <laughs> Just full of tar. But anyway, he's at a party and people are like chanting in a parking lot, I think. Oh, oh my God. Is he doing that like underground fighting thing again? He's shirtless. People are all cheering around him. Oh, and that was all we got to see. It kind of reminds me of that like, I never read the book, but my friend did. Like the movie recently came out, but it has Dylan Sprouse. And it's like based off a Wattpad book, I think. And he's like a boxer and she's like part of the mafia or something. I don't know. But that's what this kind of reminds me of. Like, why is he just randomly an underground boxer, but also a rock star? Like if he's as famous as they say, he is why aren't people recognizing him you know anyway the next day okay so it looks like we're at work because we're wearing a little business outfit we're with other lawyers that we've never seen before except for our girl natalie forgot about natalie i love her and then our boss who's named mr turner like will turner from pirates of the caribbean caribbean I don't know. Okay, so they're having like a group meeting, it looks like. The families are trying to sue the police department now. For what? Poor investigation? That's ridiculous. They want us to see if there's foul play involved. Foul play? Why would there be? Corrupt cops. Someone wants to turn off the investigation. You can easily buy people if the sum is large enough. I wonder if Justin's dad, who's like the leader of police in the country, which I don't even know what kind of job that would be, is gonna be involved in this somehow, like be a dirty cop or something. But anyway, so what are we supposed to do? We're gonna do what our client wants us to do. Private investigators are already hired. But suing the police department is insane. They won't get anywhere with this. And so we won't. And we... <laughs> I don't know what she's trying to say here. And so won't we. I don't know if that's just me being stupid or if it actually doesn't make sense, but whatever. That's not our issue. Why is that? Money, Summer. So we're giving those families false hope just to cash in that money? Ooh, the corruption of capitalism. Then how are we better than those corrupt cops? What we're doing is not illegal. So we're actually better. Aren't they hurting enough already? And now they're losing more money. You're thinking too emotionally, Miss Rays. Our main goal as a law firm is to assist our clients. If the client persists on suing, no matter the odds of winning the case, then we oblige. Because of the money we receive from them? Precisely. The air conditioning just turned on. I hope it's not too loud. I'm really sorry. A company doesn't get this big by being empathetic. Their hurt is none of our concern. Ooh, this is so real. I mean, for like the corrupt, like all big companies and billionaires in the world and how they don't care about anybody but themselves and getting richer. Anyway, so now we're out in the hallway and Mr. Turner is calling to us. Yes, sir. I hope you'll come to understand the situation. I do understand, but that doesn't mean I feel comfortable with it. One of the hardest parts of this job is to stay emotionally uninvolved. It's not just because of the money, Summer. If you lose your objectiveness, then you can't make a good job. Can't do a good job. We need to have a clear mind in order to think logically. This is a gruesome case, I know, but try not to let your emotions get in the way. Ooh, little bit of a pep talk from our boss. Okay, Natalie, my girl. I know it sucks, but that's why the company is not Oh my God, I can't say it. But that's why the company is as successful as it is. Just zoomed in on summer and faded to black. Now we're outside a building of some sort. I don't know which building. Oh God, and Justin's here. Summer, Justin, what are you doing here? Picking you up from work. Justin, I, I need time to think right now. Besides, you don't even have a car. I thought we could take a walk. I, her coworkers are talking shit. A different guy now? So you're saying this is not her boyfriend? I told you, it was this other guy who said he's her boyfriend. Brave of her to make her lover pick her up from work. I just hate how everyone assumes instantly if two people of the opposite sex or gender or whatever are hanging out that they're dating. Like, have you never heard of friends? 
Oh, Nancy. Nancy and my good friend Peter, both standing a few feet away from us, enough space to separate us, but close enough to let others hear everything you're saying. I knew she was doing this on purpose. I hadn't thought Peter had the balls to try me again. Oh, is Peter the one who got really drunk? I can't remember. This dude was really a pest. Let's go. I'll drive you back to your hotel. Hmm. Also, who said he was her boyfriend? Was it Noah? I don't remember. Or it could have been creepy guy. Okay, anyway, we're driving Noah, not Noah, we're driving Justin back to his hotel. You sure you don't want to come inside? I'm sure. Summer, all I was trying to do was make things better, but you're pushing me away again. I told you, I need space right now. Yeah, come on, is that too much to ask for? It's fine. I just hoped that you'd come to your senses sooner. I miss you. I miss seeing your face. I miss holding your hand. I miss kissing you. Okay, I miss you by Miley Cyrus. Oh no. Okay, thought he was about to kiss her. He was going to, but she pushed him away. What are you doing? Getting us back together. Ew, I'm not ready yet. I see. And then he storms out of the car, as he should, and I hope we never see him again. I hope he trips and falls in front of a moving bus. Oh, he looks angry. Ooh. Oh my god, I recognize that jacket. That's that cr the creepy guy. I can't remember his name. Hey, watch where you're going, asshole. Oh my god. I can't remember his name. I'm so pissed off. But I recognize the outfit because that's the exact one he wears. The one who invited us to his apartment for that party. Oh my god, and he has a picture. Like the- oh, I wish I knew his name. But anyway, there's a Polaroid of shirtless Noah and Summer in their apartment because I think this is our stalker, but it's also whatever that guy's name is to be continued. I don't know if I'm making any ounce of sense right now, but the guy who invited us to that party as apartment who like forced us to go with him and we said no it's i think he's our stalker because he just bumped into noah i mean fuck justin oh my god i'm so sorry like i'm so bad at the names and stuff but like i'm i don't know if this is as big as i'm making it out to be but i'm kind of like surprised like i knew he was creepy but him being the stalker that's kind of crazy i think he's a stalker like why would he have a pull right of that or is he just trying to get like summer to get in trouble with justin i don't really know but anyway that's the end of that chapter let's go on to chapter 26 I changed the camera angle because I thought it would add a little bit of spice or flavor to the video because I just usually sit in just one spot for like an hour or whatever. I don't know. I also just wanted Pepper to be able to sit on the couch with me. So yeah, we're just hanging out. But anyway. Oh, that was so close. Okay, chapter 26. Can't believe how far we've come. Okay, so we're waking up in our room. Oh, we get to pick an outfit. It's been so long since we've got to pick an outfit. I'm excited. Okay, let's see option one. Okay, we're looking good, but we're gonna see all the options, obviously, because I just like to know what I have to choose from. Cute, but I think we've worn this one before. Hmm, and go with option one. I really like the way we look in the red. Yeah, we're gonna go with the red because I think we look good in red. Suits us nicely, so yeah. Okay, so we have a text from Justin that says, Hi, S. I'm sorry about yesterday. I want to make up for it. Are you free after work? But don't forget, he saw that Polaroid on the street of us with Noah shirtless in our apartment. So I'm assuming he thinks we cheated, but we weren't even dating. I didn't respond back. I didn't know what to say. What response would be appropriate here? Since Justin appeared, my life started to become a real mess. I thought talking this through would make things clearer, but instead it made everything more and more confusing. I wasn't blaming him. I wasn't sure of anything at the moment. Wasn't sure what I wanted, what I didn't want. I never gave much thought about relationships, how they worked, how someone should behave. Justin had been my one and only boyfriend. My mom had insisted on introducing me to him, continuously expressing her excitement about Justin's interest in me. And I naturally wanted to make her happy, so I went out with him. That's such a bad reason to date someone. <laughs> oh, we're getting a phone call. We always get so many phone calls, it's crazy. I feel like the shirt's not doing me wonders when I'm sitting down, a little insecure about it. I'm not gonna talk about it. Hello? Summer. Oh, it's her mom. Justin definitely talked to her, didn't he? Mom? I heard Justin came to visit you. Ew. This is giving me like after vibes when like her boyfriend was named Noah and after. The one before Harry Garden. And doesn't he like rat her out to her mom that she's like partying at college? How did you know? His parents contacted me. Parents? They said he flew off and wanted to get you back. Right. Are things better now? Mom, it's not that easy. We still need to talk about stuff. Then let me make it easy for you. If you make him angry by not taking him back and therefore make his parents angry, I'll make you face the consequences. I only let you live your independent lifestyle because you didn't make me any trouble. But this is not acceptable. Holy, her mom is a bitch. I'm 21 years old. You can't try to control me forever. We can see about that, Summer. Her tone scared me. Get your act together and stop acting like a brat. This is not about you. If Summer pays her own rent, has a full time big girl career and lives in a different city than her mom, she can easily just cut all contact. I know we're supposed to be scared because Justin's dad has like an in with the law enforcement or whatever. And yeah, that's pretty scary because they're corrupt, I'm assuming. So not gonna be good. I don't know what I would do in this situation. I'm lucky I don't have parents like this, but yeah, I'm not gonna speak too much on something I don't really have experience with. But anyway, um, her mom hung up on her and now she's texting Justin back and said, work ends at six, I'm free after that. Hmm, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. 
Okay, I think we're walking by Noah's. Okay, yeah, of course he isn't home. At this point, I feel like Noah always vanished whenever there's an argument between us. Or maybe I was interpreting too much into it. He was probably just with other girls. Didn't he say he hadn't slept with anyone since Summer moved in? And that's fine. Okay, so we're at work. I had gotten so much work done today, very much to my surprise. I tried to stay clear and focused like Turner advised me to. I was forced to work on different cases while being assigned to the kidnapping case. Our company got too many clients and we needed as much help as possible. Okay, so her coworkers are all having a little conversation and she's saying that she wants to join in and engage in whatever they're talking about. But I'm pretty sure the one girl is Nancy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Even though I tried to not let myself be faced by someone like Nancy, I was still put off by her. She radiated this charming, you want to be friends with me aura. Well, to everyone else besides me. To me, she radiated, come closer and I'll stab you, bitch. Fair enough. She sure is popular. Hey, Mr. Turner is entering the room. Nancy is saying, Logan. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I thought he was going to walk right past her, but that'd be really rude. Okay, so there's having a little conversation and we can't hear it, so we don't know what they're saying, but she looked like she's blushing a little bit. Okay, Summer. Seems like Natalie was right. She's into him. Okay. Miss Ray's. Mr. Turner is talking to us now. Hey, well done with the Hudgens case. I just looked into your file report. I couldn't detect a single mistake. I'm glad. Now we're chatting a little more, but we can't see what they're saying. And Nancy is pissed off. I just know it. She's got beautiful eyes. Okay, now we just cut to Summer driving home from work. I'm guessing going to meet Noah. My thoughts were circling and circling, and I was trying my hardest to focus on the road and not on my complicated life. <laughs> I was heading back home, which meant that Justin and I were going to meet up in an hour or so, but I didn't want to. I didn't feel like seeing him, didn't feel like talking to him, but my mom had made clear to me what my options were here. No options. Sorry, someone's mowing the lawn outside. I live in an apartment building. There's lots of sounds at all times, so I'm sorry. I hope I'm in focus. Focus on me. I had seriously thought about giving Justin and I another try after we had talked, but after Noah's butt in, I started to question the situation again. Justin told me that I had been the one ruining the relationship and everything he explained to me made it sense in a weird way, right? No. I was socially awkward. I wasn't used to being in a relationship. I didn't have any comparison. Maybe I really did mess up. No, she didn't. But I couldn't get Noah's words out of my head. While Justin insisted I was being delusional about a lot of things, Noah hinted at the opposite. But it wasn't Noah I had been in a relationship with. No. <sighs> I mean, I'm like loving the drama, but I feel like this is kind of going on for like a really long time. Like I feel like in my last video, chapter 24, or 23 whatever was this whole dilemma justin shows up tells us it was our fault and he wants to get back together and then the next chapter noah comes in and justin's still telling us like he wants to get back together and noah's like you didn't do anything wrong and then this chapter it's like justin still wants to get back together and our mom my mom is forcing us to go back like it's like the same thing has happened in three chapters i feel like we could have co condensed this down a bit because it's just like a lot of the same stuff i'm just kind of losing interest right now i don't know my god, I look so pale. <laughs> anyway, we heard a little crash when we get into our apartment and we're just like, huh? Is Noah back home? Hmm, I wonder who it could be. Oh, his bedroom door is open and his room is dark. He's not in his room. Okay, we're shocked. That's coming from my room. Oh, I'm nervous. Wait, what if it's not Noah? We're shocked. Someone is digging through our side table, I think. Oh fuck, I don't know. Do I call the police or confront him? I'm gonna confront him because it's more dramatic. Oh, this is probably gonna be bad. Okay, hey. Oh, it's definitely Justin. I can tell by that hair. Summer. Wait, it's definitely Justin. Yeah, it's Justin. I knew it. Justin, what are you doing here? How did you get inside? I said there's an emergency with you. I'm your emergency contact after all. She made him her emergency contact. You, where is he? Where's who? Don't play dumb, Summer. I know you're with him. So tell me. I don't know what, oh. Oh, he threw the pool right at us. I thought he was hitting us. And I was like, holy shit. Why is he wearing those clothes, huh? So you screwed him after all. I did not. Then how are you gonna explain this? He and I, we, we live together. Why? They double booked the apartment. Noah, he let me stay with him. Who is this Noah? How can you two afford this? He's a famous musician. Wait, Noah Ryder? Justin knows who he is? Yes. I thought his face looked familiar. How long? Since I moved here? Are you crazy? How can you just move in with a guy like that? I had no choice, okay? Work started the next day and I didn't have the time to look for a new place. Now everything makes sense. My camera's dying. Okay, I'm sorry. I literally charged my camera this morning and it still died like halfway through filming. So whatever. Anyway, we're still talking to Justin and he's talking to us in a rude way as usual. Whatever. What's new? Also, yes, the air conditioning is going and the person's still mowing the lawn. So I'm sorry. So many distractions, but whatever. No wonder you're hesitating to get back with me. What are you talking about? Are you into this guy? I'm not. Into his money? Justin? Summer, this guy's not good for you. Look at the mess you're in. Look at what your life has become since being with him. What has my life become? 
Oh, it said what my life has become. She's like questioning it. Ask. You need to cut ties with him immediately. I'm trying to help you here. I can't just, you want me to tell your mom about it? She doesn't know, right? Why would you do that? To get you back to your senses. You know what she'll say and do. It's not my mom who controls my life. God, he's so manipulative. Like if you have to force your ex-girlfriend to get back with you by threatening your police king father and threaten like to tattle her out to her mom, like why are you still pursuing this relationship? Like I'm guessing, I think it's just about control isn't it like he he can't have her so he needs to have her you know i don't know i can make my decisions on my own you've changed okay he just walked out i didn't want to admit to myself but justin had been somewhat right noah did change me in a way in the past i've never let myself be just that distracted by anyone i was entirely focused on my studies and setting my next goals now part of my life was living together with him and trying not to kill him but also he it didn't matter i'd never been in so much drama since being with him i completely lost focus of my values and principles life wasn't there to enjoy it was there to achieve your goals and contribute to something bigger how could i've lost focus so much hmm i don't have anything to say okay gray is making out with a girl while another girl is embracing him from behind oh he's having a threesome i'm guessing what can you do okay noah is just like standing on the balcony looking out at the stars and pondering life I don't know what Noah gets up to. And a girl in a bathing suit with heels walks up to the balcony with him. Hi, Noah. I'll go to the hot tub now. Don't you want to join me? Have fun. Come on. You'll never forget a night with me. I promise. You better want me to forget you unless you're looking for trouble. What the fuck? She's shocked and angry. Rightfully so, because what the fuck is he talking about? Okay, Grayson comes out. Whoa, what's wrong with you, dude? Now you're even picking fights with girls? She wouldn't stop talking. You could have made her stop talking. Isn't that what he did? How long do you plan to stay out here? Ooh, he's got a black eye. Until the bruises are healed? Because you don't want a certain someone to see how messed up you are. Sorry, the black eye is really funny because it's just like um like a PNG overlay and when he rolls his eyes, it like moves. I don't know, it's funny. Okay, Justin is drinking at the bar. Classic. Hmm, I remember his name now. It's Charlie. He's not on the screen yet, but it's Charlie. Oh my God. And I think this is him. Hey, aren't you the guy who gave me the picture? It's gotta be Charlie, right? You're confusing me with someone else. Nah, it's definitely Charlie. I could have sworn those were the same clothes. To be continued. Oh my god. Like I said, um, I'm gonna bring you closer. Anyway, it kind of just felt like nothing really happened, which is kind of annoying. Like, we got Charlie and the Polaroid picture, but that's all that really happened in the past two chapters, which is kind of annoying. But I think a lot of the stuff that happened was like build up for future chapters because I know like the whole Nancy and Turner drama, like I know that's gonna like, I'm such a mess. I know that's gonna explode soon or something, but I don't know. I just wanted a little more drama, especially like this is my first one filming in a while. You know, I just want a little more, but yeah, I'm gonna film another episode video soon and yeah, I hope you enjoy and I'll see you very soon for my videos. Thank you so much for supporting me and I'm happy to say that I'm feeling really good and hopeful about my channel and just like getting up and doing stuff stuff in the day so yeah I don't know how long it's gonna last um I don't know why I just included a little mental health update but <laughs> I am feeling a lot better and I'm excited to create because it's been so long since I felt like excited to do this so yeah thanks for watching bye